From everyone's favorite couple being throned on a controversial path, to just not wanting to bite the dust on the small screen. These actors were having none of it when it came to these particular sequences. I'm Gareth from WhatCulture.com and here are 10 TV show scenes actors refuse to shoot. Number 10. Matthew Perry doesn't think a strip club storyline is a good idea. Friends. Though it is still very much considered one-off, if not the most successful sitcom ever to grace our living rooms, NBC's 10-season tale of six pals in New York City hasn't exactly aged like a fine wine, it must be said. Among the many jokes that feel somewhat jarring when viewed through a modern lens, the constant insinuation of Matthew Perry's character of Chandler Bing being gay and that being viewed as a stick to beat him with makes for some uncomfortable viewing in 2021. Perry himself clearly had at least some sense of just how insensitive this ongoing gag actually was, evidenced in the fact that the star once told the producers to bin an entire episode dedicated to Bing stopping by a male strip club because he liked the sandwiches. Said episode would have likely then seen his pals tease and dig him about his apparently controversial love of the joint, to the sound of a live audience probably squirming and forcing a few giggles to appease the studio along the way. Ah, weren't the 90s fun? Number 9. Idris Elba is pissed at his exit, The Wire of the many all-out badasses plying their trade in Hollywood today, it has to be said that Idris Elba ranks fairly highly on the list of folks you wouldn't want to go out of your way to pee off. Yet, back when the star was just making his first waves in the industry in the early 2000s, the producers of The Wire clearly weren't too worried about the prospect of brassing off Big Driss. Not best pleased about the fact that his character of Stringer Bell was set to be dispatched in the series, it soon became apparent that it was the nature of his demise that had actually ticked Elba off so. After Bell was shot by Michael K. Williams' Omar, the latter was originally supposed to take a leak on Elba's character. But being genuinely pissed at this exit, Elba let showrunner David Simon know how he felt about the disrespectful ending. In his words, I told him it was absolute tragedy, that it was sensational, and that it wasn't going to happen. Sure enough, the future Hollywood megastar got his wish. Number 8. Dennis Haysbert Didn't Want to Die 24 and here's the time Dennis Habert did everything in his power to dodge death, whilst playing President Palmer on Fox's hit drama series 24. After being bugged and nudged about the concept of being offed for a great many months, it supposedly took one of Haysbert's pals, who became one of the series' showrunners, to talk him into kissing goodbye to the character in season 5. David Palmer was ultimately assassinated in the season, an act that Haysbert was very much disappointed by as he felt it continued an American legacy of compelling leaders being killed. His death on the show still didn't stop Haysbert from being a die-hard 24 fan, however, feeling that he still wanted to support the folks he worked with on the show in front of and behind the camera. When asked if he'd do it all the same if he could go back and relive his choice, though, Haysbert honestly replied by admitting, I wouldn't do it. Fair enough. Number 7. Juliana Magulis and Archie Punjabi Don't See Eye to Eye The Good Wife on set, feuds have been known to throw more than their fair share of spanners in the works over the years, as you'll see again before this list reaches its conclusion. But perhaps the most excessive way of getting around two actors not seeing eye to eye came in the form of the Good Wife showrunner's solution to the ongoing Juliana Magulis and Archie Punjabi conflict. Instead of just telling the pair to grow up and do the thing they were being paid to do, you know, pretend, green screen and body doubles were used to film a scene between the two in the show's sixth season. Magulis would state that this was due to Panjabi not being available to shoot opposite her on the day. However, Panjabi would fire back on Twitter, confessing the show that supposedly made her unavailable, The Fall, wasn't even shooting at the time and she was in New York ready to film. Whoever you choose to believe, it's clear the actors weren't up for being in the same room. So we were gifted a surreal split-screen piece of glued-together footage instead. Everyone's a loser. Number 6. Lena Headey wouldn't shoot with Jerome Flynn due to a bad breakup, Game of Thrones. Keeping in the vein of actors not being able to coexist on the same set, a show famed for its ever-twisting relationship drama and venomous stares from a distance did its level best to avoid the real thing in the case of Lena Headey and Jerome Flynn over the course of shooting Game of Thrones. For those unaware, before the pair took up the reins of Cersei Lannister and Bronn, Headey and Flynn were involved in a relationship together. But with their romance ending on a particularly sour note, it was said that Headey wasn't overly keen on filming scenes with her ex, despite the two being involved in a decent amount of storylines together. However, Flynn has since gone on record to admit that he did actually share a scene with his former partner down the road, with the two being on speaking terms before declaring, I wouldn't believe everything you read. Though the two look to have patched things up over time, the lack of scenes between them earlier in the series, despite being largely in the same King's Landing locale for a time, does suggest that things weren't always rosy between them while shooting in Westeros. 
Number 5. Kirk Cameron Won't Let His Character Marry Julie McCullers Growing Pains for a time, it seemed as though everything was pointing towards a happy ending for Growing Pains, Julie Costello and Mike Seaver, with the two engaged to be married on the show. However, said wedding never came to pass, as it was said that Kirk Cameron wasn't exactly pleased with the revelation of his co-star's bare-all past. With Julie McCullough posing for Playboy a few years before appearing on the show, Cameron, who had become a born-again Christian a few years earlier, was said to have been infuriated and offended by the shots of her in the magazine. People magazine later reported that tensions got so high between the two that Cameron outright refused to work with her or follow through with the wedding storyline, leading to McCullough being sacked from the show altogether. Producer Dan Gunzelman would state that an actual marriage was never part of the plan and that Cameron never expressed any concern over Julie's pictures. But the fact that McCullough is still highly critical of Cameron's beliefs and the way he conducted himself during her time on the show suggests that there's at least some truth to the apparent reason behind her controversial departure. Number 4. Alison Hannigan Won't Shoot Kissing Scenes with Jason Siegel How I Met Your Mother how I Met Your Mother's Lillian Marshall sits as perhaps one of the sweetest and most endearing couples ever brought to life on camera. Yet behind the scenes, things weren't always as idyllic and enjoyable as the pair made their relationship look on the show. With Alison Hannigan and Jason Siegel being required to smooch on countless occasions in the series, the former was said to have been repulsed by the taste of cigarette breath, brought on by the latter's fondness for a smoke. So much so that Hannigan convinced her on-screen lover to pay her $10 for every ciggy he indulged in resulting in him racking up a sizable debt before long. But this tactic worked as Siegel opted to cut the habit soon enough, only to fall back on his smokes due to stress. Siegel would try his best to accommodate Hannigan by always having gum or a mint handy, but the Lily actor confessed that it doesn't help, which likely led to the lack of any real significant tonsil tennis on show between the two throughout the show's nine-season run. Number 3. Neil McDonough Won't Do Love Scenes – Scoundrels in another instance of an actor's religious beliefs influencing their on-screen decisions, it's time to put a spotlight on Neil McDonough giving love scenes a hard no for the sake of his marriage. After only working on the ABC show Scoundrels for a matter of days, it was reported by Deadline that the casting change that saw McDonough swiftly given the boot from the series was brought about by him refusing to kiss or perform love scenes with his co-star Virginia Madsen. This wasn't the first time that his strict Catholic religious beliefs were the cause of tension on set, though. As the star was was also against taking part in sex scenes whilst working on ABC's Desperate Housewives, with the actor stating in 2016, When you're in bed with another woman on screen, guess what? That's real. I don't like that kind of stuff, especially now with the kids. I don't want to have my kids say, Hey, Dad, what are you doing with that lady on screen? McDonough's insistence on sticking to his guns reportedly cost him a whopping $1 million scoundrel's paycheck. Happy wife, happy life and all that, I suppose. Number 2. Sophia Bush Refused Inappropriate Underwear Scenes One Tree Hill Netflix may now be the home of teen dramas occupied by folks who look like they kissed puberty goodbye a decade ago, but that wasn't always the case. Long before the likes of Riverdale and 13 Reasons Why, the WBs and later the CW's One Tree Hill was bringing the lives of high school students to life through actors who were clearly anything but pre-adults. One of the unfortunate downsides of the stars of the series being somewhat older than the characters they were playing, though, manifested itself in the showrunners sometimes insisting on their performers taking part in raunchy scenes scenes that some felt were inappropriate. Sophia Bush in particular fought with writers a lot when it came to scenes involving her character of Brooke, 16 at the time, being in her underwear. Their response to the negative feedback? Well, you're not 16. Bush would ultimately refuse to shoot the scenes in question, even going so far as threatening to dress conservatively for the rest of her run on the show if the scenes weren't binned off. Number 1. John Krasinski Doesn't Want Jim to Cheat on Pam – The Office John Krasinski doesn't seem like the sort of performer who is in any way, shape, or form a difficult actor to work with. But even the A Quiet Place Part 1 and 2 director knew he had to put his foot down when one specific storyline was brought to his attention whilst working on the US iteration of The Office. Comprising one half of the universally cherished Jim and Pam partnership, there was once a time during Season 8 when the show's creators thought it would be interesting to explore a world where Jim cheated on his wife. By kissing a temporary office administrator who was taking over from Pam, Pam while she was on maternity leave. Classy. As Krasinski put it himself, I remember saying things that I never thought I'd say before, like, I'm not going to shoot it. Krasinski clearly felt that this move would result in their audience turning their backs on the pair and potentially the series as a whole, revealing, there's a moment where if you push them too far, they'll never come back. And I think that if you show Jim cheating, they'll never come back. 
Sure enough, the scene was cut in the end, despite show creator Greg Daniels still sticking by the fact that he thought it would have been a good idea. Nah, probably not, mate. And that's our list. Know of any other TV show scenes actors refuse to shoot? Let us know all about them in the comments section right down below, and do not forget to like, share, and click on that subscribe button. Also, be sure to head on over to whatculture.com and find some more incredible articles just like the one this video you are watching is based on. I've been Gareth from whatculture.com. Thank you, as always, for clicking on this video today, and I'm sure I'll see you very, very soon. Bye-bye.